The chances are, when you ask any cycling fan what the biggest one day race of the year is, their answer will be one thing. Paris Roubaix. The 259 kilometer race is made up of 30 cobble sectors and is appropriately nicknamed the Hell of the North. Past winners include Peter Sagan, Philippe Gilbert, and Fabian Cancellara. And this year marks the first ever women's Paris-Roubaix, which was won in fantastic style uh, by Lizzie Dagnan, who won the race from an 80 kilometer solo attack. But when Skoda and Wheel of Cycling sent me an email a few weeks ago, asking me did I want to sit in the front seat of the neutral car in the 118th edition of the men's race, I could only reply with one word. Yes. So for this 800 kilometer drive south, Skoda very kindly hooked me up with a brand new superb IV. The car is a plug-in hybrid, making it super efficient and giving me all the miles per gallon. I've put the seats down and I've comfortably got two bikes in the back of there. And one of the things I love the most about this car, I'm gonna try and quickly do this because it is raining, is the boot opens up like so nicely. I mean, look how much space you have got there. It's like the whole entire of the back of the car just opens up. But that's 83 miles down. We've got 220 until we get to the tunnel. So I'm going to continue and we're going to crack on. So it's the day of the race. I've just made it to the uh, Shimano service course in Northern France. We're about three hours from the race right now. The start is about 30 minutes from where we currently are, I think. So we're gonna head to the start very, very soon. I arrived in France about 14 hours ago and it has literally not stopped raining since I arrived. The race today is gonna be absolutely carnage. So we drove about one hour this morning. This is where we currently are. We're parked up waiting for the race to arrive. Because the Pyru Bay is such a long race, the neutral cars are like split up. So we're in the second lot, which is like just before uh, the... Hang on a minute. I'm making this sound way more complicated than it needs to be. Let me explain. The Shimano neutral service is split up into two teams. Team one looks after the first 90 kilometers of the race leading into the cobbles. And then team two, which is who I was part of, take over and service the riders for the remaining 160 or so kilometers into the finish. Simple. We're just waiting for the race to arrive and then we're gonna jump in the convoy. So before long, the riders had covered the 90 kilometers and it was time to roll. Let's go. <laughs> So, uh, so what is the job of the neutral service in, in these races? We are uh, getting behind the riders when it's uh, one minute or less. Yeah. Uh, when our team cars are not allowed to go. Right. So we help all the riders when they have a puncture or uh, need a bottle. And I guess, uh, am I right in saying that Rubé will be the busiest day of the year for you? Yeah, normally it will be, yeah. And then how do you know which... Uh, how do you know what teams have what wheels and, and I guess now everyone's on disc rotors, everyone's on different sizes, how do you know? We look in the front and we ch check on Insta before the race. Okay. So all the teams have Insta and they have uh, what, what they are riding on and we put that on a piece of paper. Okay. So I have a list in front of me on the back of your... So you don't, you don't, you don't remember it all in your head? No, it's <laughs> impossible. <laughs> It was after the famous Sector 19, the Arenberg, that we got the call up to provide neutral service to the leading group after the race had been split to shreds over the first 11 sectors. It's not necessary. Daniel is behind the first two. And then what followed this point, and for the remaining 100 or so kilometers left of Paris-Roubaix 2021, can only be described as the muddiest, most relentless bike race I have ever seen. <laughs> Did you say you've raced Roubaix twice? Yes, yes. And I guess both times will have been dry, right? Yeah, it were both conditions. Yeah. I think the last uh, wet conditions in Roubaix were uh, 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how do you think 
how do you think the cobbles will how you, how do you think the weather's going to impact the racing today everything yeah it's, uh, it's everything uh, about bike handling today yeah? it's nothing about power if you can handle your bike nowadays uh, today it's the most important thing eh? yeah so you, maybe the cycle cost riders will be better today for sure for yeah. sure they will have uh, yeah an extra yeah an extra point where so, they can make a difference eh? yeah so who, who's your who's your pick for today I think uh, Mathieu van der Poel. Yeah. <laughs> what about what about you? Uh, I go van Aert. Around 80k to go, the two leaders were caught by a group of around 10, of which the winner would come from. Gianni Moscon went solo at around 50k to go, but punctured and then crashed at about 20k to go. Eventually, three riders contested a sprint finish in the velodrome, and the winner? Gobrelli. <laughs> So in total, I was in the Skoda for over five hours today. It was an incredible experience and the car performed amazingly, especially on the pave. So that's my day done in the Skoda Superb neutral service car. And I think the only word I can describe today with, to sum today up with is carnage. It was nothing short of carnage. Mm -hmm.